All right, guys. As you can see, new place still hasn't really been unpacked. I have a decorator coming tomorrow. The problem is, is I had my last house that I owned professionally decorated, so moving into a different space. All your stuff's just not made for this space, so I got things like my sunglasses on the counter that I'm just dropping. These are actually pretty cool. I'm gonna vlog with these on tonight. No, I'm not. Don't be a douche, Steve. Anyhow, tonight what I'm doing, Morgan sent this box of goodies a while ago when we thought she was getting, last November, so over a year ago, when we thought she was getting into the US, she sent some over. I think they're still good, but I'm gonna try them. Ha! We're gonna talk about them. I haven't had most of these, and so we're gonna go through each one and kind of talk about what I think of them. So let's just jump into it. These are Australian snacks that I'm gonna be trying and giving my honest feedback as an American. Ooh. Mmm, they don't smell right. They smell like old protein powder. <laughs> what the hell? What the cheesel? Hmm, best before February 13, 2021. <laughs> it's 2022. Okay. No, these don't taste good. All right, next up. Just take them on out. Shapes. Originals. 11 5 2021. These are the barbecue ones. Well, they're pretty good, actually. Our nets, our knots, and nets. I don't taste barbecue, though. They have little, like, green specks on there. What is that green speck? They almost taste like there's an herb on there. Flavor, you can see. They're tasty. I'll give them a 6.8 out of 10. All right, next up, what should we get into here? Oh, these look pretty good. What are these called? Oh, this are, are knots, are nets, are, are knots? I don't know how to say it. TV snacks. They're an original, they look like a biscuit. They just say a biscuit. They call everything a biscuit over there. If it's like got any kind of crunchiness, I feel like they call it a biscuit. Which is weird. Americans, we have biscuits, like biscuits and gravy. It's just such a weird concept to other people. Milk chocolate. Oh, that's good. Good crunchy factor. Mm, that slaps. I'm too old to be saying slaps. That's good. That slaps. 11-6, consume before 11-6, 2021. We should call this eating expired Australian treats. Seven and a half. Next up, freckles. Delicious smooth chalk with colorful 100s and thousands for thousands times more fun and yum. Chocolate plus hot card equals bad combo. <laughs> Make wise choices. They're so thoughtful in Australia. <laughs> I don't think American companies would be like, hey, don't leave in sun. Maybe because Australia is always hot. Best before August 2021. 20, Pretty basic. Little chocolate sprinkle. They're big on chocolate buds in Australia, which is just a small piece of chocolate. I'm not really a sprinkle fan guy. If you're a person that's like, oh, I can taste the difference between green and red sprinkles, you're full of shit. The game is bullshit. If I'm a kid and I got these, I'm like, oh, thanks for the freckles. Cute name though, I guess. And because of that, I give it a five. Very average. All right, moving on. Red snakes? Do we have these in America? I feel like these is like, you might see these at Halloween. I don't know, I've never had one, but are they Australian? Allen's Redskins. All right, let's give it a go. These are actually made in New Zealand. Whoa, Morgan, did you know that? You're sending me stuff that isn't even, a good thing you got out. You would have had a quarantine for the last two years. What's her done do? I don't know, it kind of looks like Laffy Taffy now. Oh yeah. Mmm, oh, belly. That's a Billy Madison quote. Again, like our Laffy Taffy, they're good. The wrapping doesn't make them look very good. Again, they look like a red and purple Tootsie Roll wrapping. And I'm not gonna lie, Tootsie Rolls are one of the most overrated candies we have in America. So I didn't expect much. I expected about a five and they're about a six, so. All right, this looks like the same thing. Milko Sticks, also made in New Zealand. Sorry, babe, I'm eating all your candy too. I'll leave some for you. By then it'll be like two years expired. All right, this looks just like, this looks just like the other one except for yellow. A very like generic flavor. Is it vanilla? I'm not a huge vanilla fan, like a vanilla candy. A vanilla flavored Laffy Taffy? I can't tell if I like it yet. They're fun, like they get stuck in your teeth. When I was a kid, I'd take Jolly Ranchers and I'd bite down onto them until like they molded into my teeth and I couldn't open my mouth. Great for my parents. Dentist bills of six. All right, Chico's. Chico's by Allen's. With a very happy looking chocolatey kid on there. December, 2021. Okay, so these are only like a month old. Great smiles with Cheeky Allen's Chico's. The yummy chocolate flavored jelly babies. I hope there's not jelly in this chocolate. There's few things that I hate more than jelly and chocolate combined. Squish one, stretch one, and bite one's head off before they get up to mischief? What the f***? <laughs> what? Were you telling kids to bite the head off their candy? That's a little violent. Basically torture. 
torture your candy before you eat them. And then after that, maybe move on to animals. Every serial killer's favorite candy. I can already tell I'm not gonna like this. This looks nasty. What is that? I'm gonna bite his head. I'm gonna bite his freaking head off. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, garbage. Oh, yeah. That's right up there with black licorice. Yeah, that just doesn't go. Jelly, chocolate, no, no. No, God, please, no, no! Alan, take this one off the website. Stop selling it in stores. A, it's a little violet. B, it's just garbage. You guys are, like, that's, that's... All right, this, this looks cool. It's got a koala on there. I can vibe with this. Australia's dry roasted macadamians. Honey, why is a koala on there? Do they, they don't live in macadamia trees? Macadamia? Mac, macadamia? Why am I having a problem saying that now? Macadamia, Acad Ac academia? No, macadamians. I can tell they're a little bit old, but they're still tasty. These in their prime would be legit. That's before 9, 20, 21. It's good, it's whatever. All right, moving on. So they're little pineapples. Mm. Okay, I like these. Mm -hmm. The pineapple flavor is a good pineapple flavor. You know how sometimes like grape flavored stuff tastes nothing like grapes or peach flavored stuff tastes nothing like peach. This is a good artificial pineapple flavor. These are the best candies. Those barbecue chips were still my favorite. Next was the TDs. And then these are right there as well. These are an eight. I like these. I know she was big on this one. So we'll go through this. We're getting back to our, our, our nets, our knots. Wagon wheel, chocolate covered marshmallow and jam. Eh. Best before 15 2 of 2021. Like 15 2, I'm like, what month is that? 15? No, February 15th, 2021. So here goes nothing. Here's what it looks like after it's been smushed in there for a while. I can taste the marshmallow. Really, really sweet. Like my teeth are like, oh, that's sweet. And that's the jam inside. So you can see the jam. Where's the camera on this thing? don't like the after flavor. I wish Morgan was here. She could tell me if these were actually how they were supposed to taste because some of these are downright dog crap. Lifesavers, fruit tingles. Let's we'll see if they're the same thing we have in America. These do not have a hole in the middle, so you cannot call them lifesavers. Whoa, was not expecting that. That's where the fruit tingle part comes in. It's an explosion in my mouth. That's fun. It's like fizzing. I can see why Morgan liked those. Ugh. Now Nestle, we have Nestle. This was made in Australia. When, it's a, when you have an Australian girlfriend, fiance, it's amazing how many things you discover are either American or Australian. Cause you're like, no, I'm pretty sure that's American. Or I'm pretty sure that's Australian. And half the time it's like, no, it was neither. It's German. That's actually good. Better than expected. Cause it's real bits of coconut. Finger looking good. All right. Here we go. This is a strawberry. This looks like bubble gum. Contains only natural colors. That's good. Best before 5, 4, 21. I haven't had anything yet that has not expired. I think they're harder than they should be, but they remind me of uh, high chews. They're good though. A different strawberry flavor. I, I think strawberries taste different in Australia because this strawberry doesn't taste like our artificial strawberry. Maybe because this one's not artificial. I'm a strawberry fan, so I like that. 7.8. I've already had these red frogs. They're like Swedish fish, but better according to Morgan. I have had them and they are good. Best before end of September. What I'm noticing, if these were American candies, I feel like they'd be, it'd be like best before the world ends. That's what it would say. Like best before 2092, 2092, 2092. These are like, no, they expire in six months because there's nothing bad in them. Ours are like, yep. These will outlive you. What we got here? Whiz fizz. We have stuff like this. These guys are smart though. Grab your smartphone, find a moment to fizz, and monstergram it. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. Drop in, take the dip. Made in Australia. I like that. That's where my girlfriend lives. She lives right on that side, up there, halfway through. I said girlfriend again. Yeah, let's see. So we have like the dip thing. Remember that as a kid, you have the stick and you dip, you like, but you could also eat the stick. You definitely can't eat this. So, oh, oh. I'm going to throw up. Oh, I'm gonna get sick tonight from all of this. What is that? Like this isn't teaching kids good habits. Oh, that's bad. It just, all right, last couple ones, chunks. Best before 318, 2021. Chocolatey covered something. 
good crunch factor, wafer biscuit, and cardled comid with compound chocolate. The aftertaste isn't great. All right, a cherry ripe. This is chocolate and cherry, get out of here, just go. Oh, it is chocolate and fruit. I don't care if you're English. Oh no, Steve, Steve. Chocolate and orange taste delicious. No, they freaking don't. And chocolate and cherry, they don't taste good either. The only thing chocolate's decent with is, is mint, okay? Chocolate and even like banana and chocolate. Like if you have, if you have an ice cream and it's real banana and real strawberries with chocolate, cool. Artificial fruit flavoring and chocolate is a no. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Yeah. Hell no. Two and a half. All right, one of those Zappos. We tried the strawberry one. This is a great flavor. I don't have high hopes. I said earlier. Oh, the only thing in here that is not yet expired. Two, four of 2022. Got high hopes for this guy. Okay, here we go. So I guess that wasn't an expiration thing. Mm. You know, I gotta hand it to him. This tastes like Welch's grape juice, legit. Our grape candy doesn't taste like Welch's grape juice. As a kid, if my grandma or my mom was giving me an option for Welch's grape juice, I, w I knew it was gonna be a good day. Two glasses, please, grandma. Woo! I like it. Favorite candy. I'm gonna be saving those. That and the pineapples were about even. Next up, Fads. Fads Fun Sticks. Fad looks like a good guy. Won't be around for a while, probably just the fad. What the hell? That literally tastes like soap, like nasty soap when you get your mouth washed out with soap as a kid. You guys are making kids eat this? I feel like that's something that messes with you, like those jelly beans after Harry Potter that were like throw up flavored. This literally tastes like the soap I had my mouth washed out with as a kid for saying the, the word like cunt. <laughs> Store in a cool dry place made in Colombia. Babe, you're sending me things from Colombia? And that is it. You guys can see, actually it's not it, but as you guys can see, I've made a mess here. I do have one thing left, but if I'm gonna be honest, I've already opened it and eaten half of them. I love like shortbreads, Arnett's Scotch Fingers. These are like a, a shortbread you'd have with a coffee or maybe a hot chocolate in the winter time. <laughs> if they taste this good, after being in a box for a year, I can only imagine how good fresh ones taste. They're six months old, 622 of 2021, but I'm eating them, obviously, so. Anyhow, if you've had any of these, let me know which ones your favorite are. Definitely stay away from those ones that I let you know were no bueno. Overall, if I'm leaving with one besides this, the TVs were a winner, the pineapple were a winner, these bad boys, the barbecue, yeah, the grape Zappos, those slapped. My least favorite thing, it's like Tide Pods. It was a fad. Eating soap was a fad. No bueno. I'm out. Thanks for watching.